these cows are, are much more productive uh, than cows in most other countries. And at the same time, there's a whole lot less uh, greenhouse gas emission per pound of milk produced in the United States because of our efficiency. Muscolini also runs an award-winning cheese operation. There's a huge investment and several generations of tradition at stake here. But facing potential water shortages and oppressive heat that could threaten his herd in years to come, there's one thing that John Fiscalini fears more than rapid climate change itself. One of the biggest concerns is legislation. What, what government agencies are going to tell us we must do and how we must conform uh, our businesses. Fiscalini is trying to keep ahead of the curve. When we visited here, he'd already sunk more than $3 million into a massive methane digester. Methane gas is the other high volume product produced by John's herd. Researchers and regulators are starting to look more closely at methane. Though our economy as a whole produces far more carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas, methane is 25 times more potent than CO2. John hopes to harness that methane for the farm, reducing its greenhouse gas emissions at the same time. So we think where we're going with this is certainly going to be a beneficial thing in a, in a multitude of ways. Not only is it going to, to hopefully help greenhouse gas emissions, it's also supposed to be profitable for us to, to make renewable energy on site here, use that energy and then give some of that energy or sell some of that energy back to the, uh, to the grid. Supposedly. Supposedly, yeah. <laughs> Once it's up and running, this system will literally feed on itself. They'll use methane to heat up water which will then be circulated through all of this tubing. It spirals around the entire tank. That'll promote the digestive process, so to speak. They'll make more methane, send it back to the generator, and power the entire operation. Viscalini's concerned that by the time his digester is ready to gulp down its first load of manure, the environmental targets and the rules may all be different. Farmers throughout the state share his concern. Cynthia Corey is a Sacramento lobbyist for California's farmers and ranchers. People are talking about it at a federal level. We're going to have national climate change policy. We might need to like figure out a new way of regulating that, that's not taking a 1970 framework and trying to bring it into this century with this whole new concept. 